Hello dear ones, it's Alice. I am of the stars and I'm here in a parkland setting today to bring to you a series whose overall title is On Existing in Harmony with Other Beings on and Beyond Earth by Alice B. Claggett. This series is divided into various sections uh, that I'll be approaching in videos. First, there's the introduction and a section entitled Sentient and Non-Sentient Beings. And then there's a small section on sentient physical beings that I'll be discussing today. After that, there's a section on sentient astral beings. That's the fourth dimension, and I'll be taking that little by little in subsequent videos. Then, the fifth dimension, sentient beings beyond the astral realm, and that will be in succeeding videos in the series. So here we go today. The introduction. As worldwide telepathy is set in place as a result of the awakening, more and more human beings are beginning to become empathic. They are feeling the hearts of other humans and of other beings on earth, no matter how small and seemingly insignificant these beings are. We begin to talk not only with all humankind everywhere, but also with our pets, wild animals, flowers and trees. We begin to know and respect the many beings on the astral plane. We begin to communicate with the beings of light that undertake Earth's care and with the angels, the Devi, and the nature spirits of Earth. And so, as our senses reach out and make first contact with the many other beings who have all this time been sharing this great earth with us. We can feel their hearts just as if they were our own hearts. We humankind are beginning to understand what it is like to live in harmony with other sentient beings here on Earth. Here is a section entitled Sentient and Non-Sentient Beings. All beings everywhere express the light and love, the divine intelligence of God. And so, all beings are worthy of respect and care. On both the physical and the astral plane, there are beings of two types, sentient beings and non-sentient beings. Sentient beings are aware that they exist. Non-sentient beings exist in joy without knowledge of themselves as other than everything in God's great creation. Here is a section entitled, Sentient Physical Beings. Elephants, Dolphins, and Whales. Humankind is pretty much onto the need to respect other sentient beings on the physical plane, such as elephants, dolphins, and whales. Laws are being set in place to protect these sentient species. The next section is trees. Last week I began talking with the spirits of trees. Not the nature spirits protecting them, but the trees themselves. Trees are also sentient beings. The tree just started listening. <laughs> this is an oak tree. Trees are also sentient beings 
living right amongst us. Our lives depend on their ability to produce oxygen for us to breathe. Efforts are being made to preserve the life of trees, to plant new trees in cities and reforest where fires and lumbering have diminished their numbers. Still, senseless decisions are made by urban forestry crews in cities such as Santa Monica and West Hills to cut down our beautiful old trees and plant, by whim or fancy, other trees. Were our foresters to know the agony they cause by these killings, their hands and their killing weapons would no doubt be stayed forever. I pray that our urban foresters and our lumberjacks will soon develop the telepathic skills to communicate with trees and to understand what needs to be done to coexist in harmony with this great, wise, and loving group of sentient beings, the trees of earth. A call to reach out telepathically. As worldwide telepathy is set in place, let those of us so-called reach out telepathically to these sentient physical species in love and light and peace. This reaching out in itself will provide the avenue for the unfoldment of harmony with other sentient beings on physical earth. That's it for this portion of the series, dear one. May God be with you and stay with you through all your days. Goodbye from the tree, too. Beautiful being that it is. Goodbye from the rocks, too. You know, rocks have sentience, too. And if you would like to hear what a rock has to say, place your hand on the rock or lie on the, the rock and dream the rock dream for an hour or two in the shade of a beautiful oak tree. You'll learn what the rocks know. And the rocks have been around for a very long time.